One brawler down. One more to go. That's right, guys. Today we are going to be going over my 500 Colt gameplay. And Colt is a beast if you know how to play him right. And he's also a beast to learn how to play right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to be giving you the breakdown of the strategies for playing Colt in today's video. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Now before we jump into today's video, I wanted to let you guys know that Lex and I are going to be hosting the Draft Stars Tournament today over on my Twitch channel. So make sure you are there. There's a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. It will not be casted on YouTube. You will have to go to Twitch, so make sure you do that. Okay guys, here we go. We're going to go ahead and jump in here. We're playing with Skunk Seaman and Lukey Bear. Now what you are seeing is the end of a three hour <laughs> push. <laughs> for me to finish pushing up Colt. Colt, this is not a great map for Colt. Um, Brock or Crow are much better options than Colt are. But Colt's kind of really hard to push right now as it is. He's not a super great brawler. In fact, I would say that he's one of the worst brawlers in uh, in Brawl Stars right now. Definitely needs some type of a buff in my opinion. It's just, uh, it's just for how difficult it is to land his shots, he doesn't deal enough damage and he doesn't have enough HP to make to justify his range is shorter than like Ricochet's. There's almost no reason to pick Colt over Ricochet or Brock. Ricochet does a better job at controlling and oftentimes he deals more damage because his range is longer and Brock deals more damage from a longer distance. And so there's almost no reason to pick Colt at the moment right now. Um, but that being said, you still got to push him. You still got to level up your Colt. Got to bet get him up to 500. And so here what we're doing, we're playing this in this heist map right here. Um, not a great heist map for him, but um, I was desperate. I was like, hey, I've got two Colts. I've got two Colt or two brawlers left. Well, Colt is one of them. And the last one, I'll tell you who the last one is after this. Because <laughs> that'll be my last 500 push brawler, which will be really fun. At least until they add more brawlers into here. So here we go. We're, we're, we're going to be uh, talking about this match right here. Now, we do have this... Uh, this uh, bull that was in the bush onto the left side one thing that I really liked when I respawned I didn't know that he was there but Lukey bear was actually firing off in the bush um, he wasn't actually hitting bull but he was firing off there and that let me know that he was there and I love that now here I use my super to try and get uh, both bull and Brock uh, whittled down a little bit and now that like I've opened up the middle of their safe I'm more willing to use my super so my super it actually only deals two times the damage of my regular attack. If I can get two regular attacks onto the safe, it's the equivalent of me getting an, an entire super on there. So my super, while is great, oh my goodness, I did not realize that he was in the bush right there. Totally did not catch that and got annihilated for it. But So if you can use your super to push enemy brawlers back or to take them out so that you can then get to the enemy safe, that's going to be much better um, in a lot of situations. Um, that being said, if you can use your super on the safe, it is twice the, twice the damage of regular attack. And here, we've solidified our victory at this point. I'm going to throw down the little victory dance because I know that they can't see me. I like throwing the victory dance to say, hey, we're awesome, we won, but I don't like doing it when people think that I'm like, you know, like being mean to them, like being cocky and stuff. Um, even though I'm probably one of the most cocky people <laughs> out there, but I like to be nice. I'm a, I'm a nice cocky person. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Um, we are actually playing against a Colt here, a Colt, a Brock, and I believe it was a, do a, a Bull um, or a Daryl. Um, for this map, Bull is actually a better option than Daryl. Oh, it looks like it was a Barley. Um, and the reason why is because, you know, you do have to rely on your teammates as Daryl to actually open it up for you to get in there. Um, there's, it's just not quite as good, whereas Bull can just charge right in there and deal a bunch of damage to the safe. Um, at least from our experience, that's kind of what we noticed when we were playing around with different comps and things, you know, before we really hit our solid streak of wins in this uh, in this matchup. There Colt goes ahead and throws down his super. Uh, now I'm paying attention to this Brock. If I am correct, Brock at this point only I will have his super after he charges up like one or two rockets. But I'm going to use that opportunity to um, not only wipe out Barley, but then also to deal a little bit of damage to Brock. And now I've got this other Colt right here that I'm kind of like dancing off. I'm going to pull back, make him think um, that I'm going to actually uh, try to juke him. But doesn't even matter. Lukey Bear right there is actually able to get right in on the safe. We only need two more wins for us to get to 500 Colt. Now, one thing that's really important when you are playing Colt on, on, on Heist is it's not necessarily your job to go and get as much damage on to the safe as possible. Okay. 
Colt does a much better job. He doesn't deal as much damage as like Bull, Bull or Daryl does on the safe, or even Barley, who can just throw down his entire super on there and deal an insane amount of damage to the safe. Um, if I remember right, it's 45%. He'll deal 45% of the damage, take out 45%, which is just crazy. Um, but Colt is here as a consistent DPS brawler to try and consistently keep people pushed back and open up walls so that your brawlers that can actually deal more damage can get in there. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm doing. Now right there, Luki Bear. Luki Bear is going to be the star player of this match, uh, because, or of this of a heist because he's playing a brawler who does go deal tons of damage right there um, and his goal is to just like, like go both back and forth and stuff whereas my goal is to mostly try and and keep those tanks pushed back um, right here I'm in a little bit of a rough spot I tried to super up to get out of there and away from that bull and take out the ricochet doesn't end up working out ricochet ends up dodging um, and then that bull is able to get in there and take me out now at this point, we do have this Daryl right here, and we are kind of pushed back, and Bull is coming down on our safe. I'm going to focus a little bit on this Daryl, because I know that Luki Bear is going to be able to easily take out that Bull as Bull himself. And at this point, I'm able to just push right up, uh, because they let me, they let me, they didn't fall back with me. And so I was able to get in there, break down the walls, deal 10% of the damage to the safe, which is uh, not exactly what we need, or but it's helpful at least. Then Luki Bear is able to go in there, and does end up getting taken out, but he does deal a little bit of damage to the safe. And there, I throw down my super which does a little bit more damage to the safe and we're just trying to keep him pushed back and now that I do have that range yes Colt doesn't deal as much damage as some of these other brawlers but he is a great damage dealer to the safe and here I, I out juke that um that ricochet by using those bushes works work, which works out excellently and then skunk seaman is able to take his super and throw it down deal tons of damage to the safe and now we've got this daryl with his super charge up we've got this bull with the super charge up and so you can see lukey bear playing incredibly well as that defensive stop right there i use my super to deal a little bit of damage not only to daryl but also to um, to uh, bowl as well, and then we're able to finish off that ricochet, which that means now we have, we just need to keep these guys pushed back. Our biggest worry is going to be Daryl, but I, that's not even a worry right there. I got my super um, right on the safe right there and did a little bit of damage, and then Luki Bear is able to go in there and finish things off. Now we are looking nice, okay? We are looking very nice. We're at 498, and we just need two trophies. We just need two trophies to 500 until my Colt is max rank 20, and we got some We got some top players. Now, I, I recognize these names, um, at least the name that was black. I think it was Hazard or something like that. Um, I've, come on, come on the screen, show me. Show me. What's it at? It was Mish. Oh, maybe I don't recognize these names. Regardless, I thought I recognized these names. I remember looking, I'm like, oh, that's that guy, okay. Uh, this is going to be a tough match. So I'm, I'm trying to do my best to, to, you know, play really well. They do have a Dynamite and a Crow. And Crow did, just does such a good job at countering this comp that we have. Okay, he can jump onto Barley and deal tons of damage. He can also um, keep me pushed back. He outranges Colt. And his super allows him to jump in on the safe and just annihilate the safe if he lands it just correctly. Um, he's super fast. Col Crow is a really excellent brawler for this map. In fact, I highly recommend playing. Like, if you have a Barley and a Bull and a Crow, that's, that's great. That is really fantastic. Dynamite can also work out, um, but Barley actually seems to thrive a little bit more on this map with that extra added control. Now, they got push us pushed back. They've taken out 12% of our safe, and... And it's not looking too great because we are kind of trapped in this map. This map is a hard one to come back up from when you are trapped like this. Uh, now, we're going to go ahead and just kind of like keep on trying to keep them pushed back. Daryl has his super, so I I'm, I'm think I saw him flash that. So I think that he's going to come in on the right side of things. I'm just kind of waiting for that. Um, but Dynamite goes ahead and opens that up. And now I'm not sure if Daryl is going to come down the middle um, but he's, or come down to the left, which is what he ends up doing. I was caught off guard without enough HP, and he's able to come in there and deal more damage to the safe. And Skunk Seaman does not have a ton of DPS or at least enough to take him out without using his super, which he's trying to save for the safe. That's what we want. To to try and do because it's it's so valuable it's 45 percent on the safe if we can do it but now we're at 23 percent they're at 100 percent we have 35 seconds left and it's we're in we're in a crunch situation i throw down my super to try and like get a little bit of damage to the safe keep people pushed back but i didn't land a single shot Col colt's super is so it's so short and now we are down to 18 percent and it does not look super great i know that i have to go up there and you know try to deal some damage um in 15 seconds it doesn't look like it's gonna happen though um we got that daryl coming down there we got 10 more seconds left here and at this point i think it's just time to you know 
to sit, throw in the towel and say, hey, you know what, we played well, they played better. Um, let's learn from that and kind of move on. And with these gameplay videos, guys, I do show my losses. I know that most of the time you don't see the losses, but I do show them if they happened. So now we got set back and now we have to climb up two more wins in order for us to get this Colt 500, okay? Um, and so we're playing against, LOL is a good friend of mine. He's uh, playing incredibly well. He's playing Crow and Crow, man, every time I see Crow for this match or every time I saw Crow for this night when we were pushing for three hours, it was like, man, Crow, he's so good for this map. Um, so now we've got, the, but we've got them pushed back. We're doing really well. I've got my super down right there. I'm able to break out the, the, the walls, which, didn't mean that I was able to actually uh, get any damage on the safe, but I was able to do that and I was able to take out a brawler. Now you might be wondering, is that worth it? Like what's, um, why are you trying to open up the walls if you have a bull who can just charge in there? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, it allows three access points for us to play ring around the rosies for, for their wall so we can like get in there. And also it allows me to shoot in there with my regular attack. I got my an entire super right on there and an attack, so I'm looking pretty nice right here. I just want to try and outplay this Brock, but I have Crow uh, coming in right here. I'm able to take out Crow, not able to take out Brock. He is able to take me out right there. Oh, and then also our, our bull can actually go straight in, just walk in there even when he doesn't have a super, which is why having that middle uh, spot is open is actually a really great call. Um, not great if you can't also get a brawler out at the same time, but if you can get out a brawler while taking down the wall, it's fine, even if you're not able to deal damage to the safe. Uh, here we're just trying to play really carefully. LOL is going down as Crow, and I'm thinking, okay, I've got my teammates. Um, they respawn. They're going to be able to take out LOL pretty easily. And here, Chris actually charges down with as Bull, and I know I have an opportunity to get in there and do more damage to the safe. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to trust my teammates to play that defense, and I did not want to lose out on that offensive opportunity for me to actually push up, deal damage to the safe, and keep the enemy team pushed back as well. That's incredibly important for uh, for heist is knowing um, when to fall back and when to push up because every little bit of ground that you get is incredibly important. There I'm getting 3v1'd, doing my best to try and stay alive, but I do end up getting taken out. They've got 20 seconds for them to make a comeback from this, and Bull does have his super charged up. We were able to take out Cindy as Brock, and now we were able to take out their Bull. LOL does come down right there, and he is not able to deal enough damage to actually take out the save, and we're, we're looking pretty solid right here. Right there, I'm just going to super right up there. Maybe try and Maybe if, maybe there's a chance I'll be able to walk up past and do a little bit more damage to the safe. It <laughs> didn't need it, but wanted to. Lukey Bear, though, he almost got there. He almost got there. And I got the star player. I got the star player, which is always fun. Once again, guys, two trophies away. Two trophies away. And we're facing Math Math Matthias, Gout, and uh, Mr. Daryl that I, I didn't see his name there. There's one play for this match that I'm really excited for you guys to see. Because when I did it, I felt so cool. And I'll make sure and point that out. Um, and I might even like slow-mo it for you so you can be like, oh man, Kairos, that was so cool, that was so cool, you're awesome. Open up the safe, or uh, up the, the wall. Wasn't a great time to do so, I didn't hit any other brawlers. I, th I think at this point, I'm just so excited that we're pushing them up, and I'm so excited that I'm gonna get my Colt to 500, um, and uh, that I <laughs> just went for it. <laughs> like I said, three hours of grinding and pushing and playing Brawl Stars a lot, which is a blast, don't get me wrong. But at this point, I was excited to, for us to be able to kind of take a break at this point. Um, so, um, Brock throws down his super, and I use my super to actually blast through the walls. Not always a great option, because that wall was a, is a great one for us to actually use for protection. But when taking out Brock, I felt like it was at least warranted. I thought that was a, a good situation for us to do and kind of keep them pushed back. Lukey Bear has his super charged up, and he was waiting for Frank. Okay, And he flashed his super so that Frank would actually throw down his, so that Lukey Bear could charge into him and stop his super. Oh my gosh, such a cool play on his part. I was like, what? Man, you're so awesome. I love how he taunted that, that, uh, that super. Uh, it's so cool. So here we go. We got Frank right here. He's uh, ready to blast down these walls, which is not good for us, especially with this enemy Daryl. And Daryl does take me out. And Brock is going, just just going. He's throwing all sorts of rockets. That's no, no offense, chat, Chief Pat, but he did not Chief Pat those rockets. They all landed on the safe, which was really really rough. Oh man, I, I've got to throw out. I've got to throw out the callouts to Chief Pat, right? You know, I mean, now that now that he's playing Brawl Stars. What? Well, here's the play. Here's the play. Shoot down. Oh, oh yeah. Oh man, 
He was supering down, and I aimed perfectly so that my shots would hit him on his way down. Oh, man, I felt so cool. I was just like, man, Kairos, you're so good. You're so good at this game. <laughs> I think it's time. I think I just beat Brawl Stars at that point. So excited. Uh, but here we go. It's not over yet, though. They still have 10 seconds or 20 seconds left. And if a Daryl, I, I didn't catch if Daryl was going to have his supercharge up really fast or not. But either way, I'm trying to apply as much pressure as I possibly can. And Lukey Bear is able to go in there and finish the safe as our high damage dealing DPS brawler there on that safe. Such a great gameplay. Had such a fun time playing Colt. He's one of those brawlers that is, he, he can be really, really excellent in the hands of the right player. There's just almost always a better brawler to pick in the situation so anyways guys had a ton of fun playing Colt this was a really fun push I've got one last brawler to 500 and that is gonna be Mortis guys Mortis is gonna be a ton of fun to play as well he's only 40 trophies away from 500 at this time it should be pretty easy for me to push him up but uh, I'm excited to do so let me know where you want me to push him anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for making my channel possible and for now this is Carlos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars